Okay. All right, we're live. Let's get live on Instagram. Do you want me to do the thing, the key? Did you do the stream key thing? We gotta do the stream key thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know how. You didn't do that? No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to do it. It's okay. Well, I'll start saying hello to everybody because my Instagram's not working yet either. It'll, it'll just take you a minute. Hello to whoever's watching already. We're getting us ourselves set up here. And I'm live now. Okay. I'm live. And Edie's getting herself all situated live. But let me start introducing us. Audience. And oh. Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> Are we good? Yes, working on it. Just getting our slide. Okay. Let me know. I'll start talking. My name is Diane Rose Solomon. I'm with What's Plant Based Cooking Good Looking. And with me, and she will be on Instagram in a minute, is Edie Desser with Garden of Edie. Edie, say hello. Hi, everybody. We're, we're gonna, we'll reintroduce you again in a minute when, when you get back on Instagram. But I know that there's people watching right now, and I didn't want to keep them waiting. So we are here together because we are both participating in the Vegan Health Bundle, and we're super excited, and we have a lot to share with you today. And Carlin, you want to let me know when you're good? We're almost there. Almost there. Okay. Okay. Anyway, Edie and I are both participants in the Vegan Health Bundle, and what this is is it's there's over 150 contributors to this amazing bundle with eBooks and courses and recipes and it's just amazing. And the value of it is over $8,000 and it's available only for one more week for $49. And Edie has an amazing eBook with amazing recipes in it. She's got a great story and we're gonna share that in shortly. And this is your first bundle, it's so fun. It's your first bundle. So it's my first bundle too. I didn't even barely knew what a bundle was before. Okay. Uh, okay. Guys, it worked. I think we're here. Good. You guys are good? Yes. Okay, great. So I'm just gonna say another quick hello, reintroduce myself. I'm <laughs> Diane Rose Solomon with What's Plant-Based Cooking Good Looking and I'm here with Edie Desser of Garden of Edie who is now live on Instagram. Okay, we're good. We're very good. Okay, okay. <laughs> so say hi again, Edie. Hi again, everybody. We live just a couple miles away from each other, and we found each other on the bundle. We 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 met each other through the bundle, and I would say that you are a woman of coincidences. I was looking at one of your lives, and you had bumped into an old friend in the airport, somebody you hadn't seen since like high school or something like that, who happened to follow you and is cooking your recipes. And I was like, what a coincidence that is! And then you and I meet, and we find out that we live in the same town. I mean. What are the chances? And I'll what tell you, we were trying to get into the the um, you know the airport. What's it called? The the club. Yeah. I didn't have my American, American Express to get in the club, but we were with this other couple, so they just went in. And Ed says, "I'll stay with you." I won't. He he could have gone in, but I couldn't. And if I would have gone into the club, I would have never seen her. So everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. It is. is. It is. So Edie and I are here because we really wanted to share this amazing vegan health bundle with you. And we're gonna do a few things. We're gonna talk a little bit about specifically Edie's story. Edie has an amazing story of how she got to be eating super healthy, uh, whole food plant-based. I have a completely different story of how I got here, but we've both been cooking recipes from the bundle this week and Edie wanted to cook. Why don't you tell everybody what, what you're cooking and why you're cooking it? Well, I am focusing on, when I went to look at all the bundlers' ideas, I came up with this idea, it'd be so much fun to find recipes that are party worthy. So I have a family, I have two sister-in-laws that I turned into plant-based people. They both reverse lots of diseases too. One's a nurse practitioner. And then I have the other half of the family, or more than half, that are carnivores. And every time I bring the plant-based for my sister-in-laws, the carnivores eat it. So there's not enough food <laughs> for same place. And so I thought, you know what? Let's make food that everybody will love and appreciate. And you don't even have to call it vegan. You don't have to call it a name. This is just a delicious dish. And so when I saw Diane's hamburger, I'm like, I love that idea of turning a hamburger into like a little party food, like a little slider or a meatball and putting a sauce with it. You can turn it into any kind of 
um, country of, of origin. It could be Indian. It could be Asian. It could be, it could be anything. And I thought, what a perfect, perfect base burger. Quick and easy. And I'm going to show you how to do it in a second, but so easy. Thank you for the recipe. You're so welcome. And I just want to, you know, comment. There's, you know, when I first went vegan, and I do want to hear your story because your story is amazing. Um, you know, I, all I knew was about impossible burgers and things like that as an alternative to hamburgers. But that's not, it, it's better than eating the meat. But it's not a health producing food. It's better and, than eating the meat if you love to save animals. <laughs> if you love to save animals. It's still a little bit better than eating the meat. But what we've created and what Edie's cooking right now is a healthy plant based burger that's made from actual real food and actual real ingredients. So why don't you talk a little bit about the food and also please share your story because I think it's remarkable. Okay. So I'm just going to get started and I'll talk while I cook. Right. This recipe has a base of onions. Oh, you can make any of your base. I'm doing onions, mushrooms, spinach. You, what else do you like to put in there, Diane? I'm boring and I my husband's not an onion guy. So I just make put mushrooms in because mushrooms give it an extra like meaty feel. So I just put a lot of mushrooms in as my vegetable over and above the rest of the day. Oh, and you can put tomatoes and all sorts of things in it. There's, it doesn't matter any kind of vegetable that you want. So I'm just going to start making my trio of spinach. Oh, by the way, you guys, I have this spinach growing in my garden and it's called Ethiopian spinach and it is delicious. So I'm using that and some onions and some mushrooms. That's like my favorite thing to make. Okay. It really is those three. And um, just, just try that on everything. <laughs> I, I like it just together and just put it in my salad. So, okay. So about my story. Yeah. Um, it all started and I'm not going to be too long about it, but I got really super high blood pressure when I was in straight commission sales and radio in Dallas, Texas. Can you hear the accent? <laughs> just a little bit. But anyway, yeah. so uh, one day I called my doctor and I said, I think my heart's going to explode. I really felt like it was going to explode. And so he says, get right in here. Well, I was an athlete and I was in great shape. I just had super high blood pressure. He says, I'll give you a pill. I said, okay, like for a month and then it reverses and I'm good to go. He says, no, this is genetic. It's gonna, you're gonna have to take the pill for the rest of your life. And if you don't take it, you'll have a stroke. I'm like, wait just a minute. You know, when you were kids, I just wonder everybody, you know, say you have a headache. Your mom gives you a pill, you know, some aspirin for your headache. I used to think, how does the pill know to go to the head to fix the headache? Let right. have a, okay, how does the pill know to go to the stomach? <laughs> <laughs> That's, I used to think that way because really it doesn't. It goes through the entire body, whether the entire body needs it or not. So yeah. there are side effects to all medicines because it's, you know, it, and it doesn't heal. The pills don't heal. Mm -hmm. In fact, my father died of uh, congestive heart failure. Mm -hmm. And uh, my brother, he was on high blood pressure as well. And my younger, we all are on high blood pressure. And um, he had a triple heart attack, but he, he lived and he's doing fantastically now. He looks fantastic and he's working out. He's doing great, but pills do not heal. So yes. I'm so glad that I became plant-based because now I'm heart attack proof. <laughs> um, <laughs> doctors tell me um, my blood pressure was 178 over 115 wow. on pill. It would never come down. Wow. Oh, it was terrible and I could feel it. And so uh, they say, you know, it's a silent killer, but I, I could really kind of feel it. Can you guys feel it if you have high blood pressure? I mean, uh, yeah, when I've had medicine in me for whatever reason, and I had a bad reaction to it, it would make my blood pressure go up and you really feel it. You really feel it. And you really do. This is not, okay. So uh, long story short, I learned about uh, plant-based eating through a friend that asked me to be on the board of the Plantrition Project, a marketing friend from the radio industry. And I didn't even understand the words, but a couple of years later, I had, I had gone to the French Culinary Institute. I quit my radio career, got out of the rat race and went to the French Culinary Institute. because so I just wanted to learn how to cook better. I just want to be an excellent cook like my mother. She never had to go to school, <laughs> but I went and I loved it and I learned a lot. And then I helped my mom write a book called Just Add Butter. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. And now my husband says your next book's gonna be Just Don't Add Butter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> so um, through being in the culinary world, I learned about plant-based cooking course on Ruby, R-O-U-X-B-E. And you get a certification in plant-based cooking. And I heard that word after my friend called me to be on the board and I didn't accept. And I said, okay, let me see what this is all about. And wow, it was fascinating because I love learning how to cook all different ways. And this is just one new way. I do sous vide, I do modernist cuisine, I do all sorts of crazy ways of cooking. And this is really exciting to me. So I took the course and Dr. Clapper was on it and these other health professionals talking about fiber and I had terrible digestive issues. And anyway, I went to True North where Dr. Clapper worked, deciding I'm gonna get rid of my digestive issues. And while I was there, I learned that they reverse 100% of the people who have high blood pressure that go on a water only fast and then stay salt, oil, sugar free, 100% reverse their high blood pressure and get off the pill. And you did it. And I did it. I went eight days and then, and then Dr. Goldhammer who runs it, I said, how long, people say, how long do you have to stay on the plant-based salt, oil, sugar free diet? He says, just give me 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. I love that. Very good answer. It's really cute. It's really cute. So that's my story. That so that's why I went plant based, and and then uh, I had an or I then I joined the Plantrition Project, and now I'm on the board of it. And I I love helping that organization because they're teaching doctors all over the world the power of food as medicine, and these doctors are finally healing their patients. It's called the PlantritionProject.org. And if you want to go check it out, it's free. It's the only free healthcare you'll ever get. <laughs> and you can take all these courses on there for free and learn wow. so many things on the plantritionproject.org. It's really well, worth it. Because, you know, we all know, well, most of us know that doctors don't learn about nutrition in medical school. And they certainly don't learn about healthy plant-based nutrition to be able to help their patients until they're part of the plantrition project. Right, right. Or, or find it some other way, but plantrition. It's, it's growing, it's really growing. So Diane, tell us how you came to being Completely a opposite of how you came to it. I went vegan for the animals originally. And for the first year or so that I went vegan, this was in 2019, I didn't know how to cook anything. I mean, I was, do you need to get something? All right, one second. Okay, it's too late. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, I didn't know how to cook anything, and I used to cook for my family. And I was upset that I didn't know how to cook anything plant based. I would look at the plant based recipes. I didn't know what most of the ingredients were on, on the recipe, and I would freak out. Oop. Yeah, sorry. Okay, we're done. <laughs> you just put it over here. Okay, thank you. Okay, you freaked out. Go ahead. Yeah, I would freak out and I would look at the recipe and I wouldn't know what anything was in it and I would walk away. And then in 2020, I, a plant-based, um, actually a vegan chef that I was following said she was going to offer a course, a cooking class. And I said, this is what I need. And I took the class and it completely demystified how to cook vegan food. Was Healthy it here food. in Santa Monica? No, no, no. It was online. It was online. Okay, that's great. Okay. And I was like, this is my first step. And then I was like, I was so excited that I was not only vegan, but knew how to cook vegan. I'm like, I'm going to tell people I'm not a trained chef like you are. I'm just a home cook who learned how to cook with some new ingredients. And I was making dishes. And I was like, if I can do this, other people can do this. I don't need any like special anything, just like a, a little cooking class. No big deal. And I was like, wait, but what if I'm going to tell people that cooking and eating vegan is a good idea, but it's really not healthy? Right. So that's when I stumbled across the Cornell program, the plant-based nutrition program at Cornell. And after taking that class and getting the certificate there, I realized I can take what I've learned and then turn it all up a notch and make the recipes that I've been making healthier. And so that I was now cooking healthy plant-based. And I, you know, I just want to comment on something. You're a trained chef. I am not a trained chef. I am a home cook who wants to get dinner on the table. And so the, the recipe that you're cooking right now is like a perfect example of it's dinner time. What are we cooking? Let's get dinner on the table. 
and it's tasty and it's healthy and it's easy. And that is so important, you know? It's so important. It really is. And I, I try to, what, a trained chef, let me tell you, I'm a, a trained cook. Okay. <laughs> a chef is someone, they used to teach us this in culinary school. Don't call yourself a chef unless you run a kitchen, you run a gray, you Fair clean enough. all the recipes. You know, and I really, truly am a home cook. The only thing that it helped me with is just technique. Yeah, and fair I'm enough. talking really fast now, right. and I understand technique. And also, and this is for everybody out there cooking, you can follow the most famous chef's recipe, and it won't work out. Mm -hmm. And it all starts with the food, the produce. Is it? Is it? That's what they used to drill into us at culinary school. Make sure that apple is fresh, not mealy. You know, make sure the celery is green and not brown. You know, make sure that onion doesn't have bruise marks and, and it's, you know how it gets kind of translucent? Yep. It does make a difference in the taste of the food. Yep. And um, yeah, and it's just, it's really fascinating. And one of my teachers was Jacques Pepin and also Alice Waters, they were deans. And Alice, you know, is all about vegetables. She's in yep. Berkeley with that. And so she taught us how to make a salad which I don't do it that way unless I'm entertaining, but you tear gently each leaf because if you chop it, it freezes it. <laughs> so she feels like it makes it fresher, but I do chop up my salad because I like to eat a lot and I want it to be small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's great. And, and I really hear what you're saying about the chef. Now, I just want to just take a little detour for a second because people are tuning in and I just want to make sure people know what we're doing. Yes. I'm here with Edie Desser of Garden of Edie. I'm Diane Rose Solomon with What's Plant-Based Cooking Good Looking. And we are both participants in the Vegan Health Bundle, which is happening now. Today is Sunday the 3rd through Sunday the, the 10th. And it's only available for one more week. And what it is, it's 150, more than 150 contributors to the bundle are have contributed ebooks, plant-based courses, exercise recipes it's, it's so amazing we've both been cooking recipes all week it uh, we're both loving everything that we're, we're seeing in there i've been doing exercise classes it's amazing the value is over eight thousand dollars and they're offering it for 49 dollars. and like it's such a no-brainer to me I, i've already gotten such tremendous value from it it's amazing and Edie, Edie's submission is a beautiful ebook with Gorgeous recipes from appetizers to main courses to salads to desserts to drinks. I mean, you have so many different things. There, there's such a, a wide variety of things that you can make in your ebook. It's gorgeous. Well, thank you. It was fun putting it together. And uh, there's a lot on both our websites. And um, so it's, yeah, it's exciting to be part of the bundle. It really is. I'm enjoying it. What I'm really enjoying is learning other people's recipes because there's some brilliant developers of recipes that didn't go to culinary school. <laughs> you know, they are just excellent with this plant-based uh, um, recipes. And the raw food recipes are really creative. I just think they are so creative. Mm -hmm. You have a dehydrator, though. <laughs> it might take two or three days to make the dish, but it is delicious and fun and easy, and, and it's really easy to do in advance, and it's great. I love it. I love it. That's great. I'm going to keep going with your recipe. Go ahead. Keep going. going. Okay, so it calls for a can of black beans, kidney beans, any kind of beans you want, pinto beans, and you just mash it up. And then I had already prepped the vegetables, and you just put all those vegetables in here. And then you mix in tomato paste, and you mix in all, all these spices. So this is paprika and garlic powder and onion powder and pepper. But you could put cumin, right? You could put chipotle powder. You could put whatever you want, whatever you take, fenugreek seeds, you know, all sorts of things to, to have it your way. <laughs> Who says that? Have it your way. And um, then you mix this all together really, really well. And a little soy sauce. I use 50% less tamari. Mm -hmm. I use salt, as you can imagine, because, you know, my friends say, well, now that your blood pressure is so low, 98 over 60, why don't you start eating regular again? And I'm like, wouldn't that defeat the purpose? Won't I get my blood pressure back? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Have you re realized any other health benefits 
uh, from any health benefits because you didn't do it for health. I didn't do it for health, but interestingly enough, you know, just from age and my cholesterol had started going up. And as soon as I, I don't, I think even when I went vegan, I wasn't eating so healthy. Um, I think I'm not really sure when it, when it really shifted, but then when I started eating whole food plant-based, it started coming down again. And my husband, his cholesterol was 258 and his doctor said, you got to go on statins. And I had just finished the Cornell uh, plant-based nutrition class. And I learned about, and I said, started cooking healthy plant-based. And I said to him, whoa, 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 don't go on the statins yet. Give it, let's give it three months. Let's wow. see if you eat the food I cook and we're going to get you, veg you know, like, let's just figure out a way that you're happy eating. And, and sure enough, three months later, his cholesterol went from 258 to 178, which is remarkable. It is. The food is the food really is medicine and we don't our society's not treating it as such. And you know, Dr. Greger of nutritionfacts.org, he I I read his how not to die and how not to diet. There's lots of fun tips in those, and now it's how not to age. It hasn't worked yet, but I'm still <laughs> just got <Yeah>. it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um so he, he said he, he, he studies all every single uh, paper that comes, scientific paper that comes out on clinical trial studies, and he vets it out, who paid for the study, is this a real deal? But one of the things he came up with, the AMLA powder, A-M-L-A, now I'm not a doctor and I'm not prescribing, but this yes. is in Dr. Greger's How Not to Die book, um, AMLA powder, which is wild gooseberry, and you can get it on Amazon. I think the right one to get is Terra Soul, S-O-U-L. Mm -hmm. Every person, it's just a powder and you can put it in a smoothie or you can drink it real quick with some water. Some people don't like the flavor, but everyone I give it to, they don't mind it at all. And like within a month or two months, it, their cholesterol drops dramatically and wow. it's pure food. It's no, there's no side effects. There's nothing bad that can go wrong. It's just wild gooseberries. So that's just something else that is that, good. That's I'm, great to know, but we don't want to be eating. No, we're not. Yet, not um, we're not saying, I just like to share knowledge that you can look it up on nutrition. Facts. No, no, no. What, what I was going to say is what we don't want to be doing is eating hamburgers and French fries and, and chocolate chip cookies, you know, that are with butter and salt and everything. And then just thinking that the omelet powder is going to change our lives. You know, that's, that's true. So I, just, I put Go some ahead. flax seed in here and okay. this is half the recipe because I already made half. And you just want it, Diane, correct me if I'm wrong, but you just want to let it sit and see if it absorbs and it does it, it definitely does or you could use some oat, oats if you want to add but i didn't need to add any oats well that's so, great you know, yeah sometimes it's a little moist so i'll throw some oats in there i think originally we thought maybe you could throw some oat flour or some you know if you're somebody who eats wheat flour you could add some of that too um oh look you have some made i want to see them i made them now it costs it says it makes six burgers or they're, they're pretty small and i decided i want to make it a party food and so I just made them, they look like cookies. <laughs> yeah, they do, but they're little burgers. Yes, they're so good, so cute. And I thought, uh, just to show you a couple of ways to do it, we could, I bought this bread, but you could use any bread you want. And it's like salt, salt oil, sugar-free, it's sprouted nuts, it's pretty wet, so I toasted it. And I thought it would be fun just to get a little of that no-salt mustard by Woodstock. And, um, and maybe just a little bit of a lettuce leaf from my garden. Oh, how great. If you can grow a garden or even get one raised bed box, it really helps because you can grow so many things. I grow a wasabi arugula. It's really delicious. Wow. French arugula. And then we'll just put on the little hamburger and maybe delicious. just some, maybe just some tomato on top. That looks beautiful. And then the other idea was to turn it into little meatballs. I love that it. idea. And you just roll them up like this and then you bake them. That's great. And put a sauce on it, any kind of sauce that you want. But I just think it's great. But now I have to taste it. Don't know you it. While you're tasting, I'm going to show. Okay. So this is the recipe that you made from my submission, which was three cooking classes. And one of them was a barbecue party class where we had veggie burgers and 
pasta with pesto sauce and um, a warm veggie salad with balsamic. How is it? Does it taste good? Mm. So good. You guys, it's really good. That's so great. easy. So easy. Um, and then I made your beautiful dressing. I made a salad. I'm going to show you. And your dressing, it's a spicy Thai dressing. So here's the dressing. And I'm going to dress the salad. I just made this the other day. I've made two of your salad dressings. One is called the zero calorie dressing. And the zero calorie dressing has, it's like, has like a salad in the dressing. So you're already getting like health benefits. And then I went to, I went to make this one too. And I actually took a picture of what the, the dressing looked like when it was in my food processor because it was so pretty. It had the red chilies, it had the green um, avocado. It just was had all sorts of little rainbow colors and it. it had cilantro, it had all these yummy different ingredients. And it's you're eating food, you're not eating processed anything. You're eating whole foods, you put them in the blender and then you turn it into a, a dressing. And I have this beautifully dressed, and I can smell this right now. It's got mm -hmm. some sweetness to it. It's got some tanginess to it. It's got some little bite to it too. It is so refreshing too. It's lovely. I'm so excited. Like as soon as oh, we're done I'm diving into the salad. <laughs> I mean, it's so easy to make no oil dressings and think about it. A tablespoon of oil is 120 calories. Yeah. So if you have three tablespoons that you probably do on a salad, that's like a lot of calories and it's empty calories it's there's no nutritional value none well a lot of people believe that olive oil is good for you you yeah. know put on your skin <laughs> but it, it's not a lot of doctors a lot of our doctors in this space don't mind a little olive oil yeah. extra virgin olive oil because a lot of it's mixed with canola oil you don't know what real olive oil is out there so you have to be really careful how you choose so first press you know very clean Olive oil is important. That's if, you're, that's if you're using olive oil. And, you know, Chris, you know, coming from the health standpoint, if you're completely oil free, you're oil free. And coming from the vegan standpoint where you've reduced or gotten rid of the oil, I will still eat out in a restaurant and it's got to be vegan. That's my priority. But I there's likely going to be some oil in the food that I get in a restaurant. So when I'm at home, I'm cooking much cleaner. And it took me a while, and there's still one or two recipes that I still add a teeny bit of oil. But like when I would roast vegetables in the past, I was just drizzling the oil on top, not even thinking about it because it's it's good for you. The oil's good for you. Until I learned, you know, oh, what if I just put like a little teaspoon on it? That was enough. And now I learned learned to roast vegetables with aquafaba instead. Like there's so many options now. You don't even need the oil, and it's tasty and it's healthier for you and it's just good good to know that you know, I have a tip so I like to steam vegetables a lot yeah. and I season the water oh, so you can season it with all the spices and herbs that you like and it infuses the vegetables that's a brilliant it. tip it what? is so good same like if you're cooking beans you put yeah. some spices in the water it just it's so it elevates it when you steam your vegetables, what's your favorite spices to put in? Oh, you're talking to the wrong person because I don't know if you can see, but I have this huge drawer of spices. <laughs> I just, again, I love to find new interesting spices. Like one of my favorite recipes that I make on my website is called uh, kabocha squash soup and it has fenugreek seeds in it. I've never had fenugreek before, but I found it on some other recipe. I'm going to see what this is like. So delicious, you guys. I mean, you, you grind it. It is such a delicious, unusual flavor. It's not like fennel, but I love fennel seed too. And all these spices and herbs are antioxidants and they just, they bring a lot of health to you and deliciousness. And yeah. when you become plant-based, I feel like you elevate the way you cook too, because now you're learning about new spices, new vegetables, new fruits you would have never known about. And it's true. If you look at a meat dish with potatoes and then you look at a plant-based dish, it's so beautiful to the eyes. It's like, you know, we eat with our eyes and yeah. all the beautiful colors. It just is, it's, it gives life. It it's really food. does. It's food. It's, and it's, I, I'm enjoying the creativity of learning how to cook plant-based and I'm just, just having so much fun. Is there anything else you want to share? Because I would think, I think it's maybe time to wrap up and share again about our bundle. 
try this burger, you guys. It's so good. And hey, you can put a little salad on it with my dressing on it. <laughs> well, there you go. So the place you're going to find that burger is in the vegan plant-based bundle. And that's why Edie and I are here today, because we wanted to make sure that we shared with you that we're both participants in the vegan health bundle. And Edie has a beautiful ebook with wonderful recipes in it, including the salad dressing that I made to put on this beautiful salad. And I can't wait to dive in when we're done. And my submission was three cooking classes. So there's a ton of recipes. There's all sorts of bonuses in there too. And people have been downloading my stuff. I'm really excited that people have been downloading my stuff. It's really fun when we see that people are. And so uh, the, the burgers that, uh, the veggie burgers that Edie's making today are in the barbecue, uh, sum, summer barbecue class. And there's two other classes there that you can choose from too. So hope you get the bundle. There's over 150 contributors. The value of the bundle is over $8,000 and it's being offered for only $49. There's so much value in there. I can't even tell you. It, it would be a shame to miss it. And if you ever have any questions on plant-based cooking or a recipe, feel free to reach out to me. I'm on Instagram, yep. YouTube, and everywhere. Yeah, likewise, me too. So um, I'm not on Rumble yet. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> I'm not on TikTok. So yeah, this is I'm always on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. uh, so this is Edie Desser with Garden of Edie. And I'm Diane Rose Solomon with What's Plant-Based Cooking Good Looking. And um, it's Thank been a real pleasure. Again, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. It's been a real pleasure. And if, for those of you who missed the very beginning, Edie and I live in the same town. We just met oh, virtually two weeks ago and found out that we both live in the same town. So we're going to have to make a plan to get together. Absolutely. We definitely will. All right, everybody. Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Take care. Bye, Edie. Bye.